everybody, it's Nikisi here for This Is R&B.com and we are here with Andrew Day, the ever so talented. So just tell us how your experience has been here at Essence Fest because I know that you hit the stage and you did an amazing job. Oh, thank you. So how was it? It was amazing, it was exciting, and it was a little, I was a little nervous at the same time. Because, I mean, I still get nervous before I go on stage, but I think this venue in particular was my first time at going on the main stage at the Super Bowl. Before I was in the Super Lounge, and so to be on the main stage, I'm like, gosh, you know, we love the intimacy of the show, but how do we take that and translate it into such a large space? But my band, my sound, my lighting guy, everybody is just incredible. So we just pulled together and, you know, kind of been going out, and we're very happy and grateful. I mean, I can give glory to God always, but, uh, but it, was, it was incredible. Absolutely, it's teamwork. Yeah. So I know I heard you earlier speaking about your spirituality and how you were in a, sp in a space where you were just in a very selfish place. Yeah, so right. can you just tell us a little bit about that journey and tell us how you got to a place to where you are now? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, it was just in music, in my career, and even in my personal life, it was selfish. It was about me. My, how can I be gratified and how can I be... And you know, I finally just got to a point where, and, and I was evolving in my music and my sound as well too, and, and, and accepting my voice for what it was, but, but really it was my relationship with God that helped me just be honest with everyone in my life, and to get to a point where I said, you know what, this does not define me, so if all of this is taken away tomorrow, I, my joy is not gone, my peace is not gone, I don't feel any less than, and so I had to get to that space to surrender, you know what I mean, not giving up, but surrendering, in order to sort of be prepared for what it is that, that I say now that he is my means and my end. Yes, yes. Uh, that's right. <laughs> so really quick, because I know you have to run. You're trying to go watch the rest of the shows out there. <laughs> I don't want to miss Sierra. She's my baby. I love her. <laughs> so really quickly, the presidential campaign is coming up, and I'd like to know if you had the opportunity to pick the next president based off of the R&B roster, who would it be, and who would the running mate be? Who would the president be, and who would the running mate be? Best place on the R&B roster. God, that's so many people. I can think of so many people for so many different reasons. I mean, I think Beyonce comes to everyone's minds because she's already the president of the United States. But um, let's see. Who? 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 who, who, who? Maxwell. Just because. Me and you are right. best friends. Just right. off rip. For no good reason. Just because Maxwell. And I yes. think that's a really good, you know, description Absolutely. and explanation there. Um, and I think his running mate would be Sade. Oh, yeah. I like so, your answer. So best ones of the weekend, in my opinion, of course. <laughs> so I know you have to go. So thank you so much thank for you. coming out. Thank we really you. appreciate you. And just let the people know how they can get in touch with you if they needed to. Uh, yes, I am on, I keep it simple. I'm on Instagram and Twitter, Andrew Day Music, Snapchat. I'm dead. I'm checking for you. We're going to make you get on it. We I'm are. working on it so much. <laughs> and as usual, make sure you tune in to thisisrnb.com. Follow us on YouTube. Make sure that you're logged in on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at thisisrnb. Thank you so much. Thank you.